the greatest ideas have come from sitting on the toilet. Every day, some company, individual or group, is known for giving the public a load of bullshit. Come here to get your daily dose of shit by Alan Cousin. It's time you hear the shit everyone, everyone wants to know. of shit by your host of course me Alan Cousin it's nice to see you today on this Thursday uh, it's been a bit hot here in uh, Texas if you can't tell from my voice uh, allergies are kicking in you know of course heat's just kind of going during it's 84 degrees but it feels like it's 99 but of course you know it's, that's life living in Texas right I mean hey Only in Texas it can be warm today, it can be cold tomorrow. But, you know, today I was just thinking about some interesting things when I was uh, sitting on my porcelain throne. And one of the things I thought about was that one word that, you know, we utilize in several ways, but really never focus on until uh, sometimes we have serious situations or emotional situations or uh, get older. And that word is life. You know, you never really think about what is life? Like, what is my life supposed to be? Is my life as good as it should be? Is it as bad as it can be? Is it worse or better than others? How do I know I'm living the life I'm supposed to be living? Questions that really sometimes we can't find answers to. But at the same time, we kind of wonder about it at times, you know. I mean, as you get older, sometimes you wonder, are you, are you on the right path to life? Have you succeeded accordingly in life? Are you actually going to improve life? Are you going to ever get to where you want to be in life? I mean, a lot of questions. But sometimes, not a lot of answers. And I've come to realize that even in my time, I ask myself, you know, how well have I done in life compared to where I was? Will I do be even better than I'm doing right now? Or is this the tippity top that I'm going to get to and there's no more after this? But then, you know, as life goes on, as time moves forward, you do get answers. And of course, those answers are sometimes good. And sometimes those answers are sometimes bad. Either way, you get answers. And I will say right now, life is pretty, it's pretty resentful. It's pretty torturous. It's pretty horrific. To most of us, actually. I don't think there's anyone today, right now, that's living its best life. I think right now is a very pitiful situation of everyone, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, having problems dealing with life. And that's just something I thought about as I was reading the articles about the murders, continuous shootings, about the layoffs, about the stock market, about people who are not be able to afford buying a home or those who have a home are possibly losing it, about estate sales popping up here and there, divorces kicking in, children basically being missing, other children killing children, children killing adults, church basically breaking down, government having issues inside the government itself like a literal civil war these are things that normally don't happen in our life all at the same time but yet these are things that are currently happening and are going on in life all at the same time and what does that tell us does it tell us anything does it give us any glimpse of what we're heading towards or where we should be looking or how we should be protecting ourselves Or is it just something that makes us believe we should have hope that it will be better no matter what and believe in certain powers that they will protect us if things go wrong? These are things that you really have to think about when you live life. Because in all honesty, the answers are never always there. 
And sometimes they might be right in your front of your face, but they may be riddled. It's just the thing is, it's not just the answers that you need to think about, but it's the right questions that you need to pose to yourself. Everybody, no matter who you are, you're doing well for yourself. I know right now you're, you're laughing and thinking, no, you must be talking about someone else. But we never think about that. We are always doing better than some. But at the same time, we're always doing worse than some as well. So we're sometimes in, up in between. But you often wonder, is there all a person who's at the very bottom? Is there a person that's actually doing the worst of everyone? And you know what? That's a good question. Because that's something I can't answer. But from what I've gathered and from all the news I've read... I've yet to find one individual, one group that's actually at the bottom of everything. Even when it comes to sexism or racism, inequality, there's still always somebody doing worse than someone else. It's like a balancing machine where basically sometimes you're doing great, sometimes you're doing poor. And it just goes up and down like a roller coaster. Sometimes you have your good days. Sometimes you have your bad. But in all honesty, no one just continually has a bad day. They might think that they have a bad day every day because they might not see the positive right in front of their eyes or even notice the positive effects that go on during their day. It's interesting when you think about it. It's all based on your mindset. The matrix is real. Whether you believe it or not, it exists. And it will always exist whether you think it exists or not. A lot of stuff are going on. A lot of shit is happening right now. And most of it's negative. Very few of it's positive. But then there are those out there that don't even realize how great their life is. Because they're so used to having it that way. That they don't know what it is to have a bad life. And those are the people that worry me. Those are the people that I do worry about. That they don't know what it is to have a bad situation. So in all honesty, they think their bad situation is actually bad. When in all honesty, it's actually great. Could you imagine that? Living a life where you don't have to worry about money for bills. Worry about going on trips. Worry about getting what you need to go to school. Clothes to buy. Shoes to have. Food to eat. But yet you think... You're considered low class poor because you can't afford everything you want. Therefore, because you can't afford everything, you consider yourself not doing well. But in all honesty, you're doing great because there's others out there that can't even afford what you get every day at ease. It's come to my attention that we need to all look at the situation of life. And we need to realize life is what you make it, but life is also a balance of good and evil, of negativity and positivity. You will never have an all positive life. You will never have an all negative life. You will always have what I call a mix, a shake, if you will, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And all together, it includes your life. But sometimes it tastes very rich and unique and addictive. And sometimes it tastes very downplayed and sour. And you don't want any more of it. But either way, it goes from one to the other. Think about if we didn't have Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. To keep us from thinking about the truths of our life. To keep us from thinking about the thoughts that we try to run away from. To think about what life really is going on and the events that's occurring. Because sometimes we don't want to know. Sometimes we want to be distracted. And that's quite interesting when you think about it. Because that's exactly what informative news and social media platforms are there for. Simply to distract you. Listening to my podcast right now is a form of distraction. Yes, I may tell you some things, opinionated and facts, but still, it distracts you from things you don't want to think about or hear. It's quite interesting when you think about that. 
distractions, the matrix, lies, truths, thoughts, looking in the mirror and seeing who you are, or sometimes seeing what you think you are and never actually seeing the, the real you. And all I have to say about that is, wake up, realize the good, the bad, and the ugly. Realize where we're heading. Prepare yourself. Don't close your eyes. Don't close your ears. Don't close your mind. Because in all honesty, it will only get worse. It'll not, it will never get better. You have to face the music, as my grandmother used to tell me. You have to see life for what it truly is and face it for what is to come. Otherwise, you'll be lost in the void, just like good old Alice in Wonderland, never ever coming back from the void and never being on time, as the rabbit would always say, because he was always late for something. That's my talk of the day. That's my daily dose of shit. Wake up. Look at your life. Look at all of your life. And discover. Hey, it's not really that bad. But at the same time, hell, it's fucking bad all day. But it's never like that every day. And pay attention to those above us. Those who supposedly govern for us and make choices. Because trust me, if we don't pay attention, the control that we think we have will slowly be taken away to the point where we are no longer have any control at all. And we'll just be slaves to the system. Slaves to the laws. Slaves to ourselves. And then we will want to turn off the lights. Close our ears, close our eyes, close our minds because we won't want to see the graphic disparity and hatred and horrific signals of life that we have day to day because there'll be no choice that we can make it change because we'll be enslaved by choices of others that will never make it change or never change the choices that they've created. No, we don't need that. We don't want that. We can't have that. So wake up. The matrix is real and you need to figure it out sooner than later. Thanks for listening to your daily dose of shit talk show. If you have some insights, questions, or information of bullshit to pass on, please email us at momentous events at AOL.com. Make sure to come back daily to hear some new shit about money, business, life, and who knows what else as I take a dump on the toilet. Wake up!